Be conscious of your maker and think of what you have prepared for presentation. So I will present the deeds that I have put forth and so will you. You need to know whatever deeds you have put forth, you will present them in a package. Now people are asking us, I want to give a gift to this man and to that man. Can I give a gift? It is the occasion of Christmas. And I want to give a Christmas gift to my friend. And we tell them, my brother and my sister, let me explain to you logically. You have chosen to be a Muslim. Muslim means one who worships Allah alone and considers association of partnership with Allah as the highest form of blasphemy. Do you understand? So if you're a Muslim, you believe in Allah alone. And any association of partnership with Allah is the highest form of blasphemy. So if it is the highest form of blasphemy, when people have considered someone a son of Allah and the Quran tells you, Takadu samawatu yatafattarna. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. The skies are about to rip apart because of the statement that they have uttered. Allahu Akbar. If you look at Surah Maryam towards the end, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes mention of a powerful verse. He says, how could they have said that I have a son? And they are insulting Allah by saying that Allah has a son. The earth would like to crumble and the sky would like to split because of the seriousness of that crime. And yet we want to take a gift and say, have a happy day associating partners with Allah. Do you understand why? As Muslims, it would be wrong for us to take a gift. We are taking a gift and saying, My brother, you have associated partners with Allah. Allah says it is the biggest blasphemy against him. But take this gift, it's okay. From me, I'm a Muslim. Allahu Akbar. Can we understand and realize why we are going wrong? The same would apply if we were to give someone a gift of Diwali or tell them Happy Diwali, for example. What we are actually telling them is, I am really praying that you enjoy your day associating partners with Allah and this celebration you have of the entire association of the greatest and worst of partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala I'm telling you have a happy day you deserve the enjoyment and here's my gift may Allah safeguard us we would like to present a gift to someone upon their sin and crime we'd rather change the statement and tell them season's greetings. We hope you have a better 2013. You know, a few days ago, someone said, Oh, it's a very special date. 12, 12, 12. Subhanallah. I'm sure you saw it. The 12th of December 2012. What is so special about it? Do you know what's the date today? Do you know what is the date today? 1, 2, 3, 4 in Islam. The Sharia date, the first of Safar, 1434. Did you know that? We don't know it. Why? Because to us a date is no big deal. Allahu Akbar. Your date of birth or death is chosen by Allah, not by you. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not require you to have been born on one, two, three, four in order for you to be blessed. No. The mere fact that you have tried to achieve the pleasure of your maker in one way or another, that is what is of importance. Allahu Akbar. So how many of us can comfortably say, in my life, my main presentation to Allah will be my trial. The fact that I tried to please Allah, that is my presentation on the Day of Judgment.